Okay. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. I'm Wendy, Swamp Revitin. It's noon and we are at the One Center in Greenville. We are at the Facebook Community Boost uh, event for the next two days. It's pretty exciting. I'm learning a lot. I mean, I've been on Facebook for a long time and Facebook is awesome for my business, but this is on real. Facebook is yeah. in town today. So I have to introduce my guest. Okay, this is Jeff Rhino Bannister, and he is all about the Greenville food scene. And he does a really cool event that he's going to tell us about a little bit later. But Jeff, thanks for being my guest. Now, Jeff roasts whole beasts. That's just what we're going to tell you. Whole beasts over open flames. I do. A, my website is I Cook Cows Whole, W H O L E. <laughs> Dot com. And, but I'm also a guy who goes out and eats a lot and goes out to restaurants. I cook. Some people consider me a chef. I've been on Food Network, Travel Channel, yeah. Cooking Channel, and all those other things. And Greenville has got a great food scene, and Traveler's Rest has even got one that's so even just one your mind away. Yeah, and we've been in, in Greenville and Traveler's Rest, so it's kind of funny. Sometimes we'll be booked in Greenville, and I'll steer people towards Traveler's Rest. and. They'll call me later or they'll email me and be like, thank you so much. We had the best time in Traveler's Rest and there's so much to do there and, oh. and eat there. It's great. And both ends are walking distance. So all the really cool bars that serve the great little bikes that are all so good. Yeah. So my original idea today, Jeff, having you on the show because you cook live for whole bees, no, is was to do a tour of the inn because we have animal names for all of our rooms. We have the chicken, the goat, the sheep, and so on. And so I was going to walk you through each room and just kind of ask you, you know, how you would prepare this animal. I know, I feel a little sick and twisted, but I, I thought it would be fun. So you, um, you are in the food scene here. You've been on Food Network. What else is going on with you, Jack? Well, you know, me, we've got June 9th, we've got an event coming up in Columbia, South Carolina, Bova Noche. Bovine Noche Night Cow, Night of the Cow. Oh, yeah. We use some very unusual ways to cook animals. Uh, and it's a food thing. We've got some phenomenal chefs, Lou, Lou Hutto, of, of uh, Low Country uh, Barbecue Catering is there. Christian Neme of Bourbon in Columbia, one of the most successful restaurant tours in South Carolina. Phenomenal chef will be there. Uh, we've got my Boba Noche team coming in. It's whole cows, lambs, a bunch of other stuff. Well, this has been one of our best events. Very elegant, great wine, great food, good music. I'm telling you folks, you know, I, I don't I don't make up a lot of stuff. I copy, and I tell you, I'm copying a lot of the great ideas that I get from the, from the chefs that I've hung out with. And you know, I'm kind of like Wendy. We were kind of started behind the gun, and really. Things took off. Uh, if you haven't been to Swamp Rabbit, any of the Swamp Rabbit properties, you should. I like them because I can have a, a drink or two and I can get back to my room. Yeah. Uh, it is always a nice, clean place. You said pop up in there. Uh, so, you know, Greenville, Travelers Rest, guys, is a place for food. Right now. So, have you always lived in Greenville? I'm originally from a little town in uh, a little country called Holly Hill, South Carolina, which is my accent, if you notice, is very Cajun. Yeah. And, uh, it's because we didn't have pay roads until the 1960s. So it's very like a, a Cajun, uh, something referred to as a Kunas down in Louisiana. Oh my gosh. That area where the, the, the brogue is done, and people live off the land a little bit. But I'm a country boy, uh, and I moved up to the city, uh, uh, moved here 25 years ago. I've been married to uh, my wife, who's originally from Columbia, South America, <laughs> moved here. So we've been here with our family, had a business, and uh, been in this community now for, for going on about 25 years, I think. Hey, there's other people that want to use this cool Facebook Live booth and yeah. this sweet little so we're gonna lovely girl. Thank you so much. She's been holding this camera. Her poor little hands or arms are probably probably ready to fall off. So we're going to move Let's on out over. here. And Jeff's following me. And we're just going to continue, yes, our conversation. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking. walking. All right. Thanks, everybody. Now we're sitting. Hey, here Wally. we go. I got my arm around. See how okay. smooth that was, America? Yeah. Got my arm around her. Okay, so I ran into Jeff on Sunday night, and I think he was channeling Louis Armstrong walking out of mass. So, like, you do I that. Go yeah. I yeah. Have to he's, go. he's got this. All by myself. Yep, he's got this big personality and voice, and uh, it was just kind of ringing through streets of Greenville heading out of mass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we, we bumped into each other day and both of us were upset and we thought we'd have to leave this phenomenal yeah. seminar 
and go. She didn't want to call me because she thought I wouldn't be able to rebook. I didn't want to call her because I didn't want to have to worry about rebooking and people were expecting us. And one thing I am, I'm consistent. If I make a promise, I'm going to go and she's the same way. So we looked at each other and went, let's go live right here. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So we're learning all about Facebook. Um, we thought we knew everything there was to know about Facebook, right, right, Jeff? No, but it's always changing and they're always adding features. And I started doing this Facebook Live consistently, and they talk about consistency. I started doing it every Wednesday at noon for I don't know what reason. I don't know what possessed me, but I just started doing it. And I'm having so much fun learning the stories of the people in Greenville that you need to know. Like, you know. And we have some great stories today. Yeah. And he talks about consistency. Consistency is key. You don't go to Subway because you get the greatest sub in the world. You go there because it's a consistent sub every time. Yeah. And, you know, just a great idea you've got on this. Uh -huh. And it's, it's like, fun. just just the way people need to be. You know, you, you set, a, set a schedule, it forces you to do it. It, it does. keeps you consistent. Hey, Lewis, how are you? And then I have, like, regulars that watch every week. Thank you so much, Lewis. Every week he's there watching, <laughs> and um, it's just been it's been really fun. So, what are the things that uh, you you were hoping to learn here at Facebook Boost? Well, I'll, I'll say that this opening ceremony, or opening conference, they threw some things out, and I take notes. For those of you who know me, I have dyslexia, a pretty severe learning disability. Uh, that so I'm very difficult for me to take notes, but I took as many notes. I write really big, my handwriting real bad, but just just some of the things, and I've got my notes. Here, but I mean, one thing I loved about uh, about the social media, and you need to use this in your business life, is don't always be asking people for everything in the world. Try to give as much as you can, and make it fun. Got got one of the funny quotes of the day is one of our local social media experts who's always selling himself on the social media. They said that's like going on a first date with somebody and bringing a wedding ring. I mean, right. after a while, you just get uncomfortable. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So anyway, um, Jeff. What else? Um, what else would you like to tell people about Greenville and the food scene here? Because things have been just happening so quickly. In yeah, it's the thing. Greenville right now has got a phenomenal food scene. Traveler's Rest is one I've really been focusing on lately. The Upcountry Provisions, little boutique bakery, yeah. bistro. They got a Grove for Fridays. They'll have music and have some beer. You know, the, the little tiny places that are putting out good quality product and giving people a good experience. Oh, yeah. And, they're, uh, and the owners are there, so that's what's so awesome about these mm -hmm. local businesses is the product is such quality and they're there. And so you develop this relationship with their it food is. and their product, but also with them. And it, you know, this, in, in, that, in that TR area, it, it had nothing 10 years ago. Not 10 years ago, it was a food desert. Now you've got wonderful sidewall pizza. You've got some great barbecue at Monkey Ranch. Yeah. You've got the best cocktails in the upstate of South Carolina being served at a place called Rocket Surgery. And I had the ladies that started the first restaurant on the Swamp Rabbit Trail on last week, Williams Hardware, oh, okay. which is a lovely restaurant. And Oh, yeah, those, I love the sandwiches yeah. right there. Ride your bike up and get a sandwich yeah, and ride love by. that, yeah. And, like, their Reuben is my absolute favorite in Greenville. Their Reuben yeah. and, and My wife and I would okra. ride from Greenville and do that. Yeah. I think the Swamp Rabbit Trail is a little bicycle path. It was a... It was a Actually, one of the last jobs I was ever offered was to walk to work on that railroad, 18-mile railroad, wow. and they turned it into a trail and part of the rail, National Rail and Trails project yeah. subject. And I think it really helped turn Traveler's Rest around from a business standpoint. No doubt. I mean, all of a sudden, you've got these phenomenal places popping up. Williams Hardware was, was there, and they were doing things, but all of a sudden, they just blossomed. Yeah. And, and you see these small businesses take off, and I love that. As somebody who's been an entrepreneur for, oh, God, 23 years now, uh, and have sold and exited businesses. I love seeing that small business launch yeah. and succeed. And Traveler's Rest has just been phenomenal with that trail and the way they've done it. And, and I, my, my opinion, part of it is the food scene. You get on that trail to go, now not just do. exercise, you get a sandwich. Now you do. Now what the trail did was it pulled people off the highways onto their bikes to enjoy the countryside in a slower fashion and pulled them up to Traveler's Rest. So that trail was definitely the economic engine that replaced the train tracks. And um, it's so safe. And Traveler's Rest. Yeah, and it I is I remember safe. when it first started, I'm like, I'm not going out there. You're out there by yourself. I didn't yeah. want my wife on it. Now you can get on that trail in the middle of a day 
and I don't think you'll go 10 seconds before you see other people. I yeah. mean, it's a constant flow of people. You never cross a, a road and look down the trail either to your left and right now and not see somebody. It's well used. Sorry. Tens of thousands of people a week are on that trail. Yeah, and Do sorry. it for a while, baby. Yeah, thank you. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry taking for it over the here. shakiness. Oh, there thank go. you. My arm was killing me. You're the ones that work out. But yeah, we're just kind of doing this on the fly. And we ran into each other at this Facebook Community Boost Conference, which is going at the One Center today and tomorrow. And we're like, hey, we don't have to go to the end. We can just... Right? Hey, we got sense. a question here. Lewis wants to know about hair and field. Yeah. I've been there twice, and I thought it was a good meal. I really did. I've met that chef many times. She's been at Audie's downtown in Greenville, uh, and they, they own another restaurant, Farmhouse Tacos, up yes. there. But I tell you, hair and field is, is, is going to be a, a nice gemstone for them. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I really enjoyed, once again, 50 feet right off of the, right off of the trail. Yeah. I wish I could just go over and see who are the other questions we had. Hey, Michael, how are you? Hey, Michael Mike. Kimball oh, hey, Mike. From Williamsburg Winery. Yes, sir. Yes. Mike, you've read. Mike, you've ridden that trail. You're from Virginia, and you've ridden probably a hundred, done a couple hundred miles on the Swamp Rabbit Trail in Greenville. Oh, here is something really cool. So I went up to Virginia. We started in Richmond, met Michael, and uh, we rode from Richmond to Williamsburg on the Capitol Trail, which is a 52-mile oh. paved bike trail. Really an awesome ride. But we stayed at uh, Williamsburg Winery, and it's just, the Wedmore place at Williamsburg Winery is just an amazing place. And then from there, we did some other rides, bike rides from York to Yorktown and Jamestown. If you are looking for an awesome getaway this summer and into the fall, go check out Williamsburg Winery. Go ride the Capitol Trail right up to Richmond. I mean, it's just Go eat at their fantastic. restaurant in the Fat Canary. Go down to Williamsburg at the Fat Canary. My wife and I have stayed up there. I've done wine dinners for, uh, uh, cook wine dinners for Williamsburg Winery. Guys, it's a beautiful it's place. Yes. Great weekend getaway. Yeah, and they just got like some award for their um their cafe michael which which award i just read this um last night but anyway uh feel free to send some midsummer's night our way i mean oh, yes, absolutely we'll, we'll test it it has my favorite wine my <laughs> yeah. favorite wine is free wine so please feel free to send <laughs> bottles you can yeah. drop them off at the Swamp Rabbit Inn with my name on. I'll and be Jeff happy to and pick I, them up. we'd be happy to do but, wine tasting. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Somebody mentioned the, the uh, Monkey oh, yeah, Ranch a minute ago. A little something people don't realize, uh, that's owned by a group that has four or five uh, restaurants now, seven in the works, I think. Yeah. Rocket Surgery, Monkey Ranch, all the sidewall pieces. But uh, the chef, Stephen Musloff, has actually worked at a Michelin two-star uh, restaurant. Oh, he's so he's a not he's not a pizza thing. and barbecue guy, but he is from the low country of South Carolina, about 30 miles from where I was raised, and he knows what good barbecue is, and he's doing a great job doing it. Phenomenal job. Oh, my gosh. Rocket Surgery is probably my favorite restaurant oh, right now. It, yeah. it, mine and my wife, it is, too. They got, yeah. Let's they go. got They got a guy there named uh, Zach, and, I, you know, I'm... I, he looks like Jesus. He's that good looking a guy. He looks like Jesus. And he's a phenomenal one of the best cocktail men I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying to think of another place we had up there that, that, I, that we've got a new restaurant coming in right up off of 276 on Poinsett Highway. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. It's up on the hill. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my good. gosh. They're going to have a garden. Okay, so Michael Kimball has a question. Thanks for the question, Michael. What are your favorite hidden gem restaurants in Greenville? You go first. Well, first, I, I really got now. Look, if you want hidden gem restaurant, to me is the Unica Supercenter grocery store. Ooh. The little taco stand inside of that has got the best taco you ever eat in your life. It's at the corner of 253 and Whitehorse Road. Okay. Uh, that a rocket surgery Enjoy is a phenomenal it. place. My wife and I are spending two or three nights a week yeah, there. Yeah, it really is. O five is a little cocktail food bar on Augusta Road. Uh, another woman-owned business. You know, all woman-owned business for rocks. Yeah, and they, they have and several. Encore. Those girls too. Yeah, they yeah. have several restaurants. So, some of my favorites. Um, I love Pita House. Like, oh gosh! It's just amazing. For the longest time, Peter House was the number one restaurant in Greenville, South Carolina, on TripAdvisor. Yeah, and I also love Swan. It's an Indian restaurant. A All vegetarian. Bro. Yeah, really they, good, sweet people. Too. They, they are wonderful people. I was there. I think the first week they opened up, and I'm not a vegetarian guy, but I will go there and I will eat there if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have a vegetarian meal in Greenville. That's yeah. where it's gonna be. 
Cool. Yes, Taco Tuesday is our favorite holiday too. In fact, we have Taco Tuesday coming up June 12th. It's our fourth year anniversary and we call it Trunkin' Tuesday at the Swamp Rabbit Inn in downtown Greenville. So, book a room if you're not from Greenville, but if you are from Greenville, Come to Truckin' Tuesday, June 12th, 6 to 9. Darby Wilcox will be on stage. Oh, I love Darby. And she has helped us <laughs> celebrate our anniversary and oh, our yeah. opening every year. So we're thrilled to have our Darby, I, I love it. The first time I heard yeah. her, her play, I thought it was a trombone in the room. And she, <laughs> yeah. and she's a great, yeah. phenomenal, well sought after musician here in Greenville. Yeah. And she's going places. Like what other events you got places. going on up there? Uh, well, Automatic Taco's going to be there too. So that's okay. Tuesday, June 12th, 6th to 9th, the Swamp Rabbit Inn in downtown Greenville. And then we have our music festival in September. So September 8th, that's going to be at the Inn and Traveler's Rest. Yeah. And that's from 4th to 10th. That really did well last year, wasn't it? It was so much fun. It was such a cute setting. Yeah, too, that's, like you had just purchased that property, I think, and really turned it around. And, and I've heard so many great things about that. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. It's starting to get pretty crowded. We're getting crowded here and my arms are getting tired. Yeah, our arms are getting tired. Peace out. Remember, go to iCookCowsHole.com to find out where I'll be next or look for me on TV. I'll be there somewhere. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.